Hello, good morning. This is Joanna, and this morning I am coming to you with a few masks that I plan to use. As you know, I have a lot of masks, and I had made a comment a while back that I need to utilize these instead of letting them sit. Some of them I've been using. Some of my other masks that I have been using have been my jar ones from Kits. But these are various masks, and a few of them I'm going to share with you. I buy all the time, but I want to mention these two really quick. I will not be utilizing these two this week, but there is a black one to this that I used that I really loved. It was their charcoal mask, and I want more of that one. It actually did what it said it would do. I felt like my skin was taut. It was clearer. I really like that one a lot, and I want to go get more. However, I have not been keeping up with the Bath & Body Works masks um, since they had their last sale, so I don't know if the black one is still available, but I do intend to find out. I have made several trips, as we know, to Bath & Body Works for the hand soaps, the candles. I have not looked at the mask since that little gel one in the little container that I purchased, and that thing burned my skin. It didn't cause any damage. At first, I thought it was because I had washed my face. Then I used it with my face not washed. It did the same thing. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to feel because I hadn't seen any reviews on it. But that little one I will not be messing with anymore. I do have one left and I have a charcoal one and I will use it. But that's it for that. But I just wanted to mention the black one in this series I like. Now, the ones that I plan on utilizing this week, this one I'm going to utilize Sunday night when I come home. I used the coconut one of this before. This is the Sephora hair mask and you put this cream in your hair and you sleep overnight and you get up in the morning and you wash your hair. So I'm going to utilize this one Sunday night after work. I really did like this one a lot. You get a little cap with it and I was able to use the cap, you know, a little bit longer than um, it was intended for. And this is mask that I do get. I get more of these all the time. So... The next one that I'm going to utilize, this one I've utilized before, so I won't be utilizing this one until probably Monday or Tuesday of next week because I have a different one I'm going to try out this week, which will also be Sunday night. But this one, I like the way my lips feel, but it has no taste. And it doesn't say that it has a taste. It's just you would think that if it's a lip mask, it wouldn't have a chemical type feeling or taste. Like... It wasn't something that was horrible, but it also wasn't pleasant taste-wise. You would think it would have some kind of a flavor. But this mask, you have to be real tedious with opening it up because they're, um, they're easy to tangle up. But I really did love the way that my lips felt after. So since I've used this one before, the one that I want to try and utilize is my Bath & Body Works one. I have not seen any reviews on this. I haven't tried it. I don't know if it tastes good or not. I just feel like they should have some form of a flavor. Um, the next one I'm going to try is the Bath & Body Works Under Eye one. This one I think I will go ahead and try out tonight um, because I haven't tried these before. And I have one Sephora Under Eye Mask specifically, but I don't think I've used any of them. So I'm going to try this one out tonight. And then this right here, um, I don't know if I'll do this one um, probably when I come in from work tomorrow night, maybe. Because I get off, you guys know, at 7. I get home by 8. And I want to utilize all of these masks. So this one, um, I heard good things about these. A lot of people do reviews about these on um, here on YouTube. And I had two of these, so that's why I wanted to try one. And then I also want to try this out, these two right here. Um, I'll be utilizing each one of these probably... Between tomorrow night and Friday night, I will use one of these two. But this one is the one that I believe when I showed these on here, I had several of these because I was curious about them. Some people said that they left an iridescence on the face and this is their illuminating sheet mask and it's Pearl Power. And I ended up getting, I think, four or five of those. And this one I want to utilize. This one I was going to utilize on Monday. Now the one that I'm going to talk about here, I buy these all the time and I give these to people in cards because as you can see, they're real thin. I love these hand masks. Guys, if you can get your hands on these at Sephora, get you one. They were $6 when I last bought mine, and I bought a bunch of them. They come in avocado, which is the green pack, and argon, which is the orange pack, and this aloe vera. I love these. They are a dry glove, so if you do any housework around the house, you can do that. You leave these on the specified amount of time that it says. 
and then you simply rub the contents into your hands this one i'm going to be utilizing today i took off the little treatment polish that i had on and then i will do this hand mask and then i will um, go ahead and later tonight put that treatment polish back on but i love these i have given these away in giveaways i have given them as gifts and so far to my knowledge everyone that i have given these to they love them they want to know where they can get them from and some of them have went and bought more of them on their own they have a foot mask too i haven't tried that um but i try to keep these in my arsenal um when i go out next week i'm going to get three of each of these um because i try to keep them around i have one in one of my um, little boxes that I keep some of my more nail plates in. I was using these once a week and then I kind of got away and I started saving them when I started running low. I believe I only have a total of three around the house here. One in that kit, this one, and I might have one somewhere else. But these are very nice. They're great to give as a gift. Um, for the aunts and uncles and parents out there, if you have a little kid that loves to give a gift to grandma or an aunt or whatever, to mom, you can put these in a Mother's Day card or just put them in some type of a card. They make a great relaxation gift and it's a treat that everyone can enjoy. Even some of my friends at work that are not into makeup and are not into some of the frilly stuff that I'm in, a lot of the nurses um, can use these. Men can use these. They're just a great all around mask for anyone that just wants to give a little softness to their hands these are great for everyone um and like i said even my ladies at work that don't do nail polish don't do hand care they have loved these when i've given them to them um and so i do plan on trying to get more and with it being mother's day i should have thought of this sooner but i'll be trying to get mine after but if there is one thing that is Sephora brand that I really really love it is these hand masks so that was it I just wanted to share some of the masks that I plan on utilizing this week and hopefully I get through these because I do tend to let things sit and I don't need to do that and I've been watching a lot of shop my stash videos where they're going through their makeup something that I need to do especially with these masks because my intent is to use them and not let them sit but I tend to gather a lot of stuff but I do want more of this one and again whatever the black one is it came out in this line if anyone sees this and knows that they still are or are not available please let me know um so that was it until the next time everyone have a great morning